Police had a clear message on Sunday morning. This Christian congregation is not allowed to hold their weekly church service. Hundreds of police blocked the road to prevent the Christians from walking in procession to land where they want to build a church. In the name of the law and our constitution, I urge the police, our beloved police, not to make this great mistake and protect us so we can pray on our land. The Christians were banned from the side by a local mayor after protests on Friday from hardline groups. They demonstrated against the construction of the new church and the detention of 10 people who have been arrested for attacking and seriously wounding two church leaders last Sunday. The mayor offers Christians buses instead, which will bring them to an alternative location, something they refuse, citing their constitutional right to pray on their own land. I am so sad. I am full of tears. I've been suffering for 20 years, always being intimidated. I feel as if we are not being seen as real Indonesians. A standoff between Christians who want to pray on their land and police who is blocking the road. The Christians are saying that the police and the president are violating the constitution to prevent them to pray. But the police say they only do this to maintain security. The police chief rejects the accusation that he violates the Christians' constitutional right to pray. We don't violate the constitution because everyone has a duty to pay attention to local wisdom. The local people don't want them to pray there, so the Christians should respect that. The Christians urge the police to stay neutral and also protect minorities in predominantly Muslim Indonesia. How is it possible that we are forbidden to pray, and why does our priest have to be beaten up? Aren't we Indonesians who have a right to pray? Overpowered by police, the Christian congregation decided to cancel their church service. They prayed in an overcrowded house instead. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Bekasi, West Java.